How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 video. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing off some legendary and iconic items that you guys can get for absolutely free. Now some of these weapons are arguably the best weapons in the entire game, and a lot of these iconic weapons you can just completely overlook. Some of them are hidden in plain sight, and you'd never think to go and pick them up. So getting into the first weapon on today's list, we actually have Dexter Deshaun's weapon. Now if you go to this point of the map, you will find a junkyard. This is the junkyard where you were dropped off for dead, and this is where Dexter Deshaun was killed. But if you actually drive all the way out to his body, you can find his iconic weapon called the Plan B. Now what makes this weapon so special is that it actually comes with pretty much unlimited ammo, so you don't have to worry about ever running out of bullets when you're using this weapon. Now, it's pretty good. Bullets have a higher chance to apply bleed damage, and the recoil is pretty manageable. I think it looks really cool, it sounds really cool, and overall this is just a really good weapon to have. And once you get enough resources, you can upgrade it to legendary status, and it will upscale with your character. And then once you're already out near his body, if you go next to the freezer, this will start a hidden side mission for you. And then the next iconic weapon that you guys can get for completely free is in Santo Domingo. This will have you dealing with the Sixth Street Gang. It has to do with a mission called Stadium Love where you meet up with the Sixth Street Gang and they're throwing this party. And if you interact with the party, they will have you do this drinking game where you go around and you shoot all of the targets. You have to take a shot of whiskey before every round. And if you hit all 44 targets, you will be rewarded with Divided We Stand. Now you can avoid this drinking game completely if you just want to kill everybody and steal the weapon for yourself, although I don't recommend it because you're going to be highly outnumbered. But this is a pretty good smart weapon. If you have an assault rifle build, this is really, really good. It does chemical damage and has a chance to poison your targets. And with most smart weapons, you basically don't have to do anything. You just look in their general direction and fire. And when you upgrade this bad boy up to legendary, it's really, really good. So next up on this list is the location of some legendary Mantis Blades. So the fastest way to get here is by going to the Arasaka Tower fast travel point. And if you go to this marker on the map, you will find a Cyber Psycho. Now when you take down the Cyber Psycho, he actually has a legendary katana. So if you guys like katana swords, this is a really good one to have. It's not iconic, it's just a legendary one, but it is still pretty good. But if you actually go over to the right, if you look at the box that is in the same room, it actually comes with some guaranteed legendary Mantis Blades. And once you collect these, all you have to do is go to the nearest Ripper dock and they will install them for free. And since we're already on the topic of legendary cyberware, next up on this list is a legendary mono wire. So this is located in Watson next to a drugstore. Once you find the pharmaceutical store, once you just hang a left and go around the corner, there is a door that you can open and inside the garage door is a set of legendary mono wires. Now this works the same way as the legendary mantis blades, just take it to the nearest Ripper dock and you can install them for completely free, saving you about a hundred thousand dollars. Now next up on the list we have another iconic weapon. This location gives you two iconic pistols. So once you complete the side story that has to do with Jackie's funeral, once you go to the bar where they held Jackie's funeral service, if you look at the altar, he has his iconic pistols up on the stand. So if you don't care about taking his pistols that are laying on his altar right beside his ashes, and you just want to have some really good guns, or if you want to use his guns to sort of remember him by, then these are pretty good to have. They have some pretty decent stats. They do thermal damage, and they do some burn damage. And it reduces the reload time, and it adds an extra mod slot, and it has a higher chance to apply burn and stun. So these things just look really cool. They have a gold finish to them, and it's just a good way to remember Jackie by if you really like Jackie. They look absolutely awesome and you can get them for completely free. And then the next weapon on this list can be found in Haywood. It's an iconic smart pistol. If you go to this location on the map, it's marked as a side job. Once you pull up to the street, you go down this back alleyway and you'll find this dead body. And beside that dead body is the iconic pistol Skippy. Now Skippy is definitely one of the most unique weapons in the entire game because it has its own built-in AI system. You have this little intro to him telling you who Skippy is. It basically just tells you that he's an AI. New fingerprints detected. Fuck. Increasing volume by 33%. New fingerprints detected. User inquiry. Technical specifications. HJKE11 smart gun with built-in AI. Experimental model. Name. Skippy. 
and I think this is one of the best weapons in the entire game. It does additional headshot damage, and you basically just look at your opponents and shoot in their general direction, and it does a crap ton of damage. If you basically want to put the game on easy mode and you just point and shoot, this is the gun for you, especially if you have some points put into your reflexes and you have additional damage for your pistols. This is an absolute must-have for you guys, and you can get it for absolutely free. So the next iconic weapon that is on this list is for you Katana fans out there. Now this iconic weapon is called the Cocktail Stick. Now you get this by going to the Clouds Club during one of the main story missions. So this is one of the weapons that you normally would miss out on, but don't worry, I figured out that you can still get into the clouds even after you finish the story. So if you guys are playing late game and you want to go back and get this iconic weapon, you can. You have to do a little bit of parkour, but it is possible if you go over to the right side and climb up onto the balcony. If you have the double jump cyberware equipped, you can just do some climbing. You have to jump up top and then you drop yourself down down bottom and then you turn around and you can see that there's shutters for a window you just open up the window and you can hop right inside now once you're inside you want to go up to the VIP area you want to go in the back and don't worry there are no hostiles in this area the club is completely empty you want to go into this back room and then on this shelf you will find the cocktail stick and then if you want to leave the building just go back out the same window that you came in now the cocktail stick is pretty good it does a lot of physical damage it has 70% crit damage and it has 10% bleed damage so if you guys have a melee build and you upgrade this thing up from rare all the way up to legendary it is a really really good katana to use and then up next is one of my favorite submachine guns in the entire game, which I think is called the Fenrir. Now to get this weapon, you have to go to the top part of Watson and you have to accept this side job. You can actually do this mission pretty early on. And when you get there, you have to talk to this monk. And when you talk to the monk, he wants you to go and rescue his brother. And then once you get to the warehouse, just take out all the enemies. And then on this shelf right beside his brother is the iconic submachine gun. And it's pretty hard to miss. It's one of my favorite weapons in the entire game. I used it for the majority of my playthrough. Anyone that you shoot with this will catch on fire. And anyone that is not a robot will take a lot of damage from fire. So this is a really good DPS weapon. This is a great weapon to keep up constant damage on your enemies as you're trying to heal yourself. Or if you're trying to take cover, you just catch them on fire. And then that buys you a little bit of time for you to heal. Highly, highly recommend this weapon. I've leveled it all the way up to legendary. Can't recommend it enough. One of the best guns in the entire game. Now next up is the location of a legendary revolver. Now this thing is a guaranteed spawn. It is out in the open. It will spawn on these barrels if you go here so you don't have to worry about it being a random drop. And it's not an iconic weapon, but this is a weapon that you can pick up at any time. So if you're just starting off the game, this is a great starter weapon. I think this is one of the best pistols in the entire game. That's why I'm including it on this list. It does an insane amount of damage, especially if you can get headshots with it. I've been using this revolver for a long time. It really, really packs a punch and nothing is more satisfying than just popping somebody in the head with it and watching their head explode just from one bullet. And another thing that makes this weapon so amazing is the fact that it comes with five different mod slots, which is pretty unheard of for just being a gun that you find just randomly out in the open. Normally, it's pretty rare to find a weapon that has that many mod slots on it. And then up next, we have a prototype smart submachine gun. So this thing spawns into the game as a legendary iconic weapon, which is extremely rare because most iconic weapons in this game, you have to start them out small and you have to slowly upgrade them over time to get them from like green or blue all the way up to legendary status. But this thing already spawns in at legendary status, which is really good. It comes with four mod slots, which is another plus. And on top of all the mod slots, it actually fires explosive rounds. The description says it fires explosive rounds. The modified automated targeting system guides bullets to up to three targets while aiming. Perfect for when you're outnumbered. So if you guys are a fan of smart weapons, this one is absolutely amazing. I love to use this thing. I just sit back and fire and it just locks onto all my targets, hitting them with explosive rounds. If they're grouped up, it will do splash damage, taking out multiple enemies at the same time. This thing is absolutely dirty, but to get to it, it is in a pretty rough spot. Now you go into this area in the main story at one point, so you can get it then, but don't worry if you miss out on it during the main storyline. You can go to this location at any point in time, but do expect a lot of heavy resistance. You either have to be extremely stealthy or you're going to have to run straight in and just shoot up the place because there's going to be a lot of bad guys here. So the strategy I went with was I just jumped over the wall with my double jump, ran straight there, collected the weapon, and then ran straight back out of the facility. But that is going to do it for this list of iconic and legendary weapons for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps out the channel. 
If you guys know of any locations of iconic weapons that I missed out on that you think would be good for a future video, let me know down in the comment section down below. Or you can join the channel's Discord and hit me up there. That's probably one of the easiest ways to get a hold of me. So if you guys have any cool ideas for videos and stuff, just hit me up in the channel's Discord. And that is going to do it for me, guys, and I will talk to you all in the next video.